Alright guys, uh, right now we're in a Volvo vehicle here. As you can see we have the engine warning light showing on our dashboard. Just forget about the fuel light, we need to put some fuel in. Uh, but we're using the iOBD2 diagnostic uh, scan tool which will scan for engine faults, tell us what the fault is um, in this particular vehicle. Now, uh, we have already done a scan and we have actually already changed over the part that needed to be changed. Uh, it was a mass airflow meter which needed to be changed. Um, so we've um, we've put that in the uh, in the engine bay now. Um, the vehicle is running a lot a lot smoother, uh, but the engine light is still showing on the dashboard. So what we need to do is we need to diagnose uh, and get the trouble codes again, and then we can erase them, and then hopefully we should see the engine warning light disappear from the dashboard. Uh, right, so we'll just go trouble code. There we go. Now these are the trouble codes that we were getting earlier. P0113 and P0102 and it's what we really need to do now is click on clear trouble codes uh, so we'll clear these and hopefully we can get rid of the engine warning light erase all fault codes, we'll click OK to that so it's clearing the trouble codes it's telling us the trouble, the sorry, the conditions are not met, the DTCs have not been cleared Okay, now sometimes it depends on the vehicle. Uh, you will need to maybe um, adjust the uh, sort of the, the, the vehicle surroundings. Uh, what you can do is turn the engine off because we've got the engine running right now, and then just set it to, for example, turn two of the ignition, uh, which we've done here. So we'll go back. We'll go back in and see if we can read the trouble codes again. And it's telling us now that there are no trouble codes. So let's see if we can start the engine and the engine light will disappear. Oh, no is the answer. Quite a strange one. Let's see again. Engine running, trouble code. No trouble codes. How very strange. trouble codes, engine warning light is on, all of the other tools, let's see now, this is the connection interrupted, reconnecting, We'll try again once it's connected. Connection successful at the top there, right diagnosis, so trouble code. There we go, there's the trouble codes that we wanted. So erase trouble codes, clear the trouble codes. The upshift light is coming on. Oh, the conditions are not met. The Diagnostic trouble codes have not been cleared. Very interesting. Um, I think there are ways around this now. Um, let's just turn that on. Try clearing the trouble codes with just the ignition on. Conditions are not met, the codes have not been cleared. How very strange. Okay then, so at least it's shown us one thing that the, um, the IOBD2 uh, doesn't seem to want to work. It doesn't seem to want to uh, remove the trouble codes or remove the fault codes or the engine warning light from our Volvo here. Oh, hang on, now, now it's saying 
Clear trouble code has been completed. Please ignition off, then turn on. Alright. So, turn off. Right, ignition on, engine start, and what do you know, the engine warning light has gone off. So, I'll say that again, the IOBD2 tool will work with Volvo to actually clear the trouble codes, which is good news, and it will also clear the engine warning light. Uh, well, there we go, we got there eventually. Um, but it's good news that it will work on the uh, the Volvo vehicles. So if you are interested in this kit, just click the link directly below this video, uh, and you will be taken to a page on our website where you can get more information and pick this tool up.